everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying this shaggy shrimp. Super easy to tie, very effective flats pattern for everything that you're going to encounter, from bonefish to triggers to trevally perma leak these. Simple fish catcher. As always, we'll put the materials in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to get access to the members only content, the monthly fly tying classes, as well as being entered into the giveaways. Alternatively, like the video, share the video, watch all the way to the end. And subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. All of that helps the channel to grow. Right, so I've got my hook my vice, and this is a Gamakatsu SL11 3H. It's a size 2, and it's quite big. Because um, this is going in my box, or a friend's box. Uh, we'll be going to Okinawa probably. And it's, it's a great size for down there. So, I've run on some Danville's 140 denier pink and I've put a bed in the whole shank but come back to the, the near the hook eye I'm going to attach my dumbbells and I'm using just medium lead plain you can use a black one you can use a paint plated one but the plain eye is fine Now I'm just making sure this is nice and secure but as usual I'm not going to go mad because I'm going to come back and ground it again once I've been along the body and done the tail and all that so obviously you can adjust the size of the weight um, but that's a good size for a lot of places I'm going to get some tan craft fur Pull away with the rubbish at the bottom, then we're just kind of hand stack, hand align the tips. I don't want, I don't want it too wispy and long. I want a reasonably good clump, but still having some taper. Draw them in. Then when I'm happy, which that looks no bad. If I mean, don't be afraid to cut your your craft. For sometimes it will just sort of not really quite get where you want, but just be a hand stack, and you can very easily just you know sort of come in and do the taper by the scissors. I'll just finish it off with the scissors. Just use, I'm just going to, see I'm a wee bit long, just use the, you know, it's a good idea and interest of consistency to have the first fly there so that you can make sure everything, they're all the same, you know, when you take it out your box or the other flies that you've got, if you get broken off or whatever or the fly gets a bit too beat up after a couple of days fishing the replacement's exactly the same so you, you stay confident Have a look at that, that looks nice just got to get a bit of crystal flash any, I mean, peril, just plain peril's fine You know, you, you could use pearl on pretty much any fly and it kind of takes the colour that's behind it, so you don't really need to be too fussy when it comes to like the colours you're choosing. Just 
Let's get a single strand there, I cut it in half. Get them about the length of the the material and I'll fold the tag ends back and that should get them all kind of tied in nice and they'll be slightly uneven in length. I mean if you really if you really want to you can really stagger them too short, too long, something like that. It's fine. Have a wee check around. That's fine. Legs. I'm using flexi floss, and I'm I'm using the fill and mill stuff, um, which you see it there. And this is light honey. the 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 reason I'm choosing to use this is it's nice and straight. Flex floss is a great leg material, um, but the problem with it is a lot of the time it's curly and all that. But this stuff is the good stuff, you know. It, it sits nice and it's very tough. The dub body and all that will probably go before um, before these legs go, and this fly, and that's that, that's a good thing about the. using flex floss. So I'm just coming back just keep the thread turns touching so it's nice and secure three is plenty, get a wee stretch make sure you've got the right one you can stretch that and just come in lock it right back and you don't need to be super fussy with this right because um, you've got to cover everything with dubbing. But again, get it tied in, get it folded over. I'll leave them as they are at the moment. Just to see how it is. It's not bad, right. Now, um, one of the Patreon guys, Chris, was asking about putting a hot underbody on a shrimp and then like making a brush and powering the brush openly around it um, you can do that right he's wanting a bright like a fluorescent core on the middle of the fly but you see here I've now built a base of this thread right this thread's fluorescent it's quite strongly fluorescent um, you know I've got a couple of layers there, there's none of the tan, none of the darkness of the hook's got to shine through. Putting a right good base, right, that's your under colour. You can do things like, you know, you can put like a fluorescent chenille or a nice dub body, which I think was what Chris was asking me about. But, this is your core, this is your hot core, you just need to use like a translucent dubbin. So I'm going to start this, this is the Voodoo Streamer dub, if you fill the mill. Great. Um, but any translucent dubbin will do the job, right? Um, whatever you've got, but something, I like something for my shrimps long in the fibre, like a long staple dubbin very little flash in it if at all and I want the, the individual strands to be quite translucent right, so I'm building just a wee ball there I'm going to come in and get a couple of eyes these are just eyes I made, I've found a packet of them, I made them ages ago been so long since I've used homemade eyes, but I might as well use them since I found them. So get them in the right side. 
We've got to get them in. Make sure. Make sure they sit on top and the lengths even. We come back and tie up. And at this stage, just before I really lock the thread in at the at that dubbing ball, just separate them a wee bit so that they're sitting sort of on top and to the sides. 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock if it was a clock face I suppose you would say. Dirty bit of my thread there. Just cover it up. Don't use the good scissors. Now, to make sure these don't pull out, I'll fold it back. And I'm going to do it in stages, so they've got a bit more beef. As well, in the middle. And just let that taper down the body. At this stage, I like to just come in a bit of head cement. Don't use super glue for my salt water flies because super glue is no salt water safe. Any CA glue will rehydrate, right? it goes all white and brittle, and it's not doing you any good. Cellulose varnish or cement, whatever you want to call it, is doing its job. Now I'm just going to continue with this. Uh, Salty dark tan, and I'm going to be very generous with the dubbing. Now, obviously, if you were tying a wee fly, you could do this quite quickly and quite easily. Tying a six or an eight, even on this hook, you'd fill it up in no time. Um, This larger hook takes a bit of filling, so you will go through your dubbing. So I come right back, build that up, and right, you don't want to be, you don't want to be shy with this, right? Get plenty because you're going to brush it, right? I've said this in many a video, but ah. Uh, A dubbing body on a subsurface fly. Like if you're no brushing it, you're just you're you're missing so much of the the value of the dubbing. What to figure eight through these uh, dumbbells. I don't mind, see there's a wee bit of the threads kind of visible, don't worry about that because when I brush it you're going to get, you're going to see bits of the thread and you're also going to get the effect of um, some of the double kind of cloak that as well so Get my weed guard on. As I like the double prong on a flats fly. 
Dann ist over. Use your thread to spread it. Couple of figure eights, couple of X wraps. Then you can whip finish. Always two because you're going to be banging this in about the sand and the coral and all that. And it doesn't do you any harm with that wee bit extra security. No. I'll colour in my legs and all that now. Before it, just before I brush it. Uh, and I like to do all this like once I've got the crystal flash and everything on because it colours everything. So crystal flash, the flex floss. Oh, great set. Let's see how it is. I'm going to cut two legs short, two legs long. So what we'll see is which two want to sit to the side and which two want to sit on the top. So the long legs I like to put to the top in the middle, about the length of the about the length of the craft for and these short ones I'll just come in cut them to just before that fourth bar there we go. so they kind of move separately they're not going to move it they're not going to stick together with a longer leg then the last thing so the vice is nice and tight just to get a good brushing and it goes for being a fairly kind of mediocre looking body you know just a standard wee cylinder to, uh, suddenly you get that nice a really nice shrimp shape it'll be it's translucent it's got loads of movement you know it's, a, it's very easy to get this effect and it's a very very good effect like the translucent dubbing and now obviously I'm going to show you this but this is not how it looks in the water but on a tropical flat where there's a high UV index right you can see there the glow of the fluorescent thread coming through at various spots I think I think that's showing up and I mean, you can keep scrubbing it and scrubbing it with the dubbing, with the brush, you know, and free free more and more fibre and make that more and more obvious. But you see it yourself, like when you're fishing these, they will have like a kind of, especially if it's a slightly kind of overcast day or something. You act, they will look like they're glowing, and it's just the fluorescent uh, popping out of the fly. But I had cement when your hook finishes and then the fly's done it's very easy and it, it just got to catch you loads of fish like I like I mean I like squimps and all the rest of them but like if if I only had this fly and it was the only fly I could fish I'd be happy for nearly everything well maybe not happy but you know what I mean anyway I hope that was useful I hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to give me a thumbs up below We'll see you for another video. Take lines guys. Bye.